What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make the best giant farm in my opinion. It's made by myself, I haven't seen anyone do this. There might already be someone do this, but I'm gonna do tutorials if, in case you guys can't find anyone, any tutorials. So, first of all you gotta find yourself a spawner, just like I've done. And you can start out by getting some water. You'll need some water and solid blocks, a little bit of science and ice as well. So we can start out by digging out right here. You can dig out all the corners when you're done with that you gotta dig down two blocks like this and then do that on the entire thing when you're done with that get underneath the mouth spawner and dig a little hole going around three blocks deep or you can make it deeper if you want but i prefer it not to be really deep then you can place the water in the corners and as you see the water lines up perfectly for this just like it should then we can go down here and also if you're playing on survival you should probably put some torches in there so no mob spawn while you're building this that'd be probably kind of problematic if, if they did then i'm gonna get some blue ice you can also use packed ice or normal ice i'm just gonna use blue ice because it's the fastest way of uh, going or it's the fastest ice you go on so it'll be the most efficient one but it's really expensive to get in survival so if you don't have it it's no problem just use a normal ice it's still gonna be fine all it needs to be is just slippery so they can go the right way. So, we're gonna need some soul sand. And from here, we're gonna make, there's gonna be a little thing here, right here in the wall. I, I can make a glass, I can make some glass there just for the sake of this tutorial, just to show you guys. So you can see where the tunnel will be. So the tunnel will be right here. What I prefer, I prefer to have glass on, as a floor right here. You guys can pick whatever you want. And you, the floor doesn't have to be here, and the room where like the zombies will drop in it doesn't have to be up here as it's just it's just as mine like this is just where i prefer to have it because i think it looks cool you know as you can like see the zombies spawning and then you can get like get them up you know i think that's cool but you can build it however you want however you want and uh, it'll still be fine all right so now i'm done, done with the roof i'm gonna go up here make a little i think i'm gonna get three blocks tall when you're done with the floor up here you have an area for the zombies to go in oh shoot they're already spawning and um, i'm just gonna take it too peaceful so we don't have them spawning that'd be kind of a problem so then when you're done with the f floor or the, the wall up here, or and the walls, I mean, then you'll go down here. You can place some ice right here. And we need that thing right here to go connect to this. So I'm going to go in here first and dig down a little bit. And then I'll go out again. You can do that or just just for, make sure this thing is going to lead to that. So you can probably decide to just dig it down there a little bit. You can make this tunnel right here. Oh, that was a bit too far. You can go down. You can go down twice. So we'll do it like this. So we can have water running here, here. And then we'll have ice right here. Boom, like that. And I think maybe it could be better if I actually have it like this. And then we'll run in here. It's gonna be a bit better. And maybe, or actually like this, build it like this because then it will slide right here and then we'll just slide down and on the soul sand. And you can also place some sides right here. And then you can start filling in. If you're on survival, just leave that as a stone and then place, place some kelp all the way up. So you get a water source that's, that's the, 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 to cover all the areas with water. And we start going up. We go up until we get up to this thing right here right up here we're gonna make a little platform so when you've gotten this done just leave the water making it like up here so you can like go down and up you know if you're in survival and then now you can get some hoppers and a chest and we can make the area where the zombies will get dropped out to also you don't need some stats for this so the zombies can't touch you while you can touch them so I'm gonna make some chests. I don't really need a lot of chests, so we'll just have two chests. For the story. I can have one chest, it's really fine. So then you connect that, or actually I'm gonna make it this uh, one taller so we can have more chests. In case anyone needs more chests, then it will also be an option. So here, just make it as tall as many chests as you want, or like make it as tall as the number of chests you want. So you see mine, mine over here is two blocks tall. I have two chests, oh it's getting nighttime. So. This is gonna be the chamber where the zombies are gonna drop in, so we can just surround it by slabs so they won't fall out. And also surround the sides because there will also be some small zombies 
and you don't want them running on the sides. I, don't, I think actually they can go through the slabs, but actually if they can't, then we don't need that. Then we can dig up a little bit. Place that right there just to see them if we want to. Dig up this and block that. We don't want that. There we go. Oh, that's our light. Well, we need that. <laughs> um, then we're gonna make the system with the piston. So now we can get some redstone like that. And also, you gotta get yourself a piston. So we can have it right here. This can be our lever that's gonna make the zombies wait in the water until they turn into drowned, and then you can get them in there. So this thing should be one more block tall. I'm kind of messing up here. Uh, so it should be like that. That's gonna be the actual height. So it's good. Make sure it's two blocks up here so the zombies can't climb back up because that'd be kind of a mess if they went back up and you wouldn't get them in there fully as you wanted. So after you've gotten this, place the piston right there, go up to the piston, connect that, or you don't really need to connect it, you just need to have the piston there, then you exit, from here, you go down here to your lever, and from here you connect a redstone circuit going up to the piston, and there you go, or the right area. So now if I press this, that should stop, yep, oh, I, actually for the small zombies not to ex escape, also, you can place another piston right here in the bottom, like that. So there'll be two pistons, boom. That's gonna be the right one, because now nothing will escape. Not a single thing. And I'm not sure if there will be any monsters spawning in the redstone circuit, but just in case anything will be spawning there, just put some torches or whatever light source you want to use in there so nothing spawns. Just just to prevent it from spawning because it would be kind of annoying that there's a creeper in there and then you go there once to just to check if it's fine and then boop and then the entire thing is dead you know <laughs> we i would not be too happy about that if i'm gonna be honest <laughs> so now we can push this on and off so you have the toggle for if you want them to be zombies or drowned now we can test this farm so we're gonna need this to be closed so it's gonna be completely dark in here i'm gonna place a torch though so we can see a little bit at least like that okay now let's take on monsters and let's see how this farm works. We'll eventually fall in the hole. All oh, these zombies, oh, they're kind of not wanting to fall in the hole. Well, they're gonna fall in the hole eventually. And then they will go through the ice. As you can see now, they fell in there. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, no, now you can see all them falling. Now I have this toggle on. The zombies should come up here, as you can see. It's already there. And then there'll be a lot, like a whole lot of them. And then eventually they'll turn into drowned. And then when they're drowned, you can open it and then you can get them out and kill them. And as you can see, there's already one drowned in there. There'll be more of them. It just takes some time to get them to drown it. But eventually, they'll be as drowned as you can see this one. There's already a whole ton of zombies in there. And then whenever you want to kill them, you can just open it. And we'll get pushed in here, as you can see. Oh, yeah. And don't do like me. Make sure this area is open so they fall in there. And then there you go. You can see all the zombies. They drop and they drown it. And then you can just stand here and kill them. And it's... It's pretty good on XP. You can also place a carpet there if you don't want them to, or if you want, if you want XP, you can place a carpet there. I think that uh, I think the hopper somewhat yanks the XP. So if you want them full XP, then just just place some carpet there and you'll be fine. Boom. Okay, now let's try this. I've gotten a whole lot of drowned and zombies in there. Let's press the lever and see if we get some loot. So now, right now, my sword has sharpness five and looting through this. So this should be pretty pretty damn good, you know. Let's just kill all of the zombies and all the drowned, and then let's see what we get. We're getting a whole lot of XP, as you can see. I would not recommend this for mending tools, though, as you can... The the gold farm, that's way better for XP, but this one, like, it's not bad, but it's not great. As you can see, where we got the trident, some like, Nautilus shells and everything. It's, I would say it's pretty decent for loot, but just... If you have looting 3, it's gonna be the best one, but the, the rotten flesh is, like, it's not that needed, but you can get some tridents, some gold, Nautilus shells, iron, you know some tools as well but you probably don't need them since you have looting three if you do have looting three but like if you if you need tridents i would definitely consider building this farm but if you don't need tridents then you don't even need to build this farm like there's like i say it's basically i mean if you need rotten flesh you can build this farm and maybe if you need like um yeah oh, oh there's a hole there oh well <laughs> don't make that mistake <laughs> anyways i think that's gonna be it for today i'll see you guys all later thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, check out my Instagram, Edge Server, bowling description, and my.
and have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys later with another video peace